My name is Father Vincent Kelber. I'm the prior here at St. Dominic's Priory in San Francisco. A lot of people probably wonder, what is the priory? Or they've heard about it. And there's a building behind our beautiful St. Dominic's Church in San Francisco that houses a group of friars, several groups of friars that live here in the city. And what I always tell people is that before we ever go out into the church to preach, or to hear confessions, or travel across the bay to teach in Berkeley, or whatever it is the friars might be doing, we have a whole life within the priory. Now a priory is a more than a, a fraternity or a, or a residence, and it's not a rectory. It's, it's a priory, a community of friars. And it's called a priory because the head of that institution, the head of that building, is a prior. It's an English term, just like we might say a friary is for Franciscan friars uh, that live in a community together. In Latin, we use a different word. We use conventus, and it means convent. Usually, we think of cloister nuns or, or, or other sisters, active sisters, who might use that term. But in Latin, we use that term. So it's a community of, of men or women that live together for, for a singular purpose. Now, our priory here in San Francisco has existed in one form or another since 1876, when we founded the parish. This particular building that we're in behind St. Dominic's Church today, its cornerstone was laid in 1911. And we can see the history there. It was laid after the earthquake. And we've been in this building ever since. So this convent, or this priory, then, is an institution that is very unique in history. Uh, the Dominican priory predates seminaries. It predates our idea of a rectory, really. And the idea of a Dominican priory, going back to Europe at the time of the foundation of the order, it was to serve a particular region in preaching. And the first place that begins is within the walls of the priory. And the priory itself is this gathering of men. And it had everything. It was, they were often small cities. Uh, they, had, they would grow their own food sometimes or had animals. But more importantly, it was a place of study. Before seminaries existed, and we would then bring our brothers in and, and form them, not just for the priesthood, but even after the priesthood, to continue to study theology and especially scripture, always studying and always studying together, having classes, lecture, debate, discussion of those topics. And it was there in that study and in a life of prayer and penance together that we would form one another to then be preachers of the gospel. A, a community, as St. Augustine says, uh, whose rule we follow, St. Augustine, that would be a community of one mind and one heart, dedicated to God, but also preaching then that mission. The idea of St. Dominic, going back then to St. Augustine, from where he brings his rule, was this idea that the Dominicans would live a common life together of preaching, of sharing everything in common, and praying together, just like the apostles. And so this idea is alive within the Dominican priory. Our work in the Dominican order isn't usually in the fields or, 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 uh, or making something that, that's, that's, that's consumable, but rather than to prepare ourselves to preach the word of God. And we support each other in that mission, and this is what we hope to accomplish. So, so before we even go out to do that, all of this within the priory. In the beginnings of the order, we had everything. As I stated, we had the novitiate, we had the students, we had each, each within each priory, it was kind of a, a one whole. Today, we spread the, that work out among the whole province. But today at St. Dominic's in San Francisco, we have several things that occur. We've had brothers, of course, that work in the parish, and all of us assist in working in the parish. We have brothers who teach at our Dominican School of Philosophy and Theology in Berkeley. We've had brothers who've worked with the poor. We have brothers who work for the province. We have brothers, of course, who form the novices and the novices themselves, novices being the very first year of religious life, a year of prayer and simple study, learning then to leave aside the ways of the world and become truly then fraternal to enter in a new way of life. And so that all is happening within this priory, all this before we even leave the house of, of study and preaching, contemplation, living together, sharing a life and supporting each other. And it's from that common bond and that common study, our common reflection, that we go forth with one mind and heart to preach. 
it used to be one term used to talk about the work of the Dominican Priory because again we don't we don't produce an, uh, 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 of any sort of product or anything what we do is then a spiritual good it used to be that sometimes the work of the whole Priory was referred to as the preaching or even the territory in which that Priory was preaching was called the preaching but that's our work. We preach. We preach with the poor at school or, or, of course, in the pulpit or forming people in confessions and meetings. All of these different things we do to share then Christ we've discovered in contemplation with those who we meet. And so that's the work of the Priory. It was interesting during the COVID years, we could see, even though, and we longed to preach, and we longed to go out and share the word of God, there was all that work within, the work of prayer, the work of contemplation, the work of study, and the work of building a community together in common prayer. All of that's alive. And then, I guess, when things began to open up again, the Priory came back to life because it had that other aspect of preaching the word of God. Uh, even though, even during those years, we tried to continue preaching the best we, we could. This aspect of a priory is meant to be a microcosm of the church. It's meant to represent, in a special way, the first Christian community in Jerusalem. And it's meant to be a light within the city that it dwells. So that that convent, that priory then, is this seedbed of contemplation then that brings out those fruits into the world to share with others so that they might then uh, bear then the seed of life and bring forth the fruits in the world, in their workplace, in their families, and, and in our own city. And so this is just a little bit of what a priory is. It's a priory, it's this community, this convent, this collection really, most importantly, of brothers who live in common and serve the people of God.